1969. The clangers in all their knitted glory arrived in living rooms. Colour TV had just come in and man had landed on the moon. People perhaps with civilization, skill and efficiency. <laughs> Nearly 45 years later and the kids show is being remade. The late Bagpuss creator Oliver Postgate thought up the original clangers in this cow shed in Canterbury, along with co-creator Peter Fermin. Now Oliver's son, Daniel, will be writing the new version. You guessed it, from another pen powerhouse, his shed in Kent. But are the clangers still relevant to kids today? Well, I think that clangers is something which is sort of uh, lives in a sort of timeless place, really. It's, it's not of this world, it's somewhere else. And the values and the important elements of the clangers exists uh, are just as important now as they were when it was made 45 years ago. Fans of the vintage version have no fear. The character Soup Dragon will be making a comeback. Uh, yes. And they'll be making it more modern for the post Peppa Pig generation. But the BBC have got competition. Channel 5 are bringing back the Wombles. Underground, overground, wombling free. And Paddington Bear has also hit the big time again, with his own movie out next year. So we asked our esteemed and cute critics watching Rastamouse here at London's Phoenix Cinema whether they'll find time for the clangers. It's for babies. Yeah, you're too grown up. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's quite nice for your children to watch things that resonate with you as from your childhood. I think it's great that it's nostalgic. I think it's great. My um, dad likes watching television with them, and I think he will love the idea of watching a programme he used to watch. The new clangers won't land until 2015, so these guys may have outgrown it by then. Minnie Stevenson, Five News.